I said, oh, I can video like this. What is going on, YouTube? SJ back again with some more DD2. More gameplay. Um, Nightmare 4 Incursion. Um, we make it to wave 4 this video. I do have a video coming out where we do beat it. Um, with different people. Um, Joe Kell's not in. Joe Kell's actually in this one, but he's not in the other one. But finally did beat Nightmare 4 Incursion. Um, we've been going to like wave 4 a lot. And beating it, but then dying on wave 5 which was the main problem like going to wave 4 and dying on wave 5 but you're just watching the combat phases build phase is so long this video will break easily 20 minutes if I show the build phase and all that but we're basically traps explosive and chaos elemental chaos traps with frost fire um, you want obviously the spheres for your frost so enemies freeze and you want the ones that proc 100% speed, 100% not 100% but 100 of your defensive speed is added to defense. I'm not saying it wrong again. 100 of your defensive power is added into defensive speed with Frostfire. I should know this because I love the mage, but I don't. And you want pieces of gear. I find out gear that have combat service on them are really really good. Hero damage with combat service are really really good you can repair faster and more often and that's the thing there's no more afk i see you can't really afk nightmare 4 it's impossible um, monsters hit too hard you need to be doing repair and repair and that's what a lot of people want back like in dd1 uh, it was just a bunch of afkers but i'm not saying everybody afk don't get me wrong i didn't even play that much but on ps3 like it was just a lot of AFK builds. Nobody really wanted to play. They wanted to get the best build and then just AFK it, get the loot, AFK the next one, AFK. Nobody really wanted to play. But and now you have to play. You have to have a strategy. You have to have a four-man team, three-man team, two-man team. The cooperative in this game is necessary. It's like you need it to progress. Once you get to Nightmare Three, you have all your gear. You're gonna want to find a team. You're gonna want to find a party to go into that Nightmare Four incursion. So you have a better time of getting that 600 plus gear. I have a Huntress that's sitting at about 715 item power. I do have about 6 heroes that are level 50 that I use from... Um, I have Frostfire, I have Phoenix Call, I have Poison Towering, and that's what it is. I have all these heroes, and they all have different builds. Um, meet in the tavern, social tavern, if I meet people there, I'd like to go into a pub, um, a private tavern, and we compare traps, compare walls, compare boosts or surrenders, so we know who has the best stuff, um, but pretty much, my DPS has been mainly what I've been playing the most, I've been trying to get this DPS up to 150, I hit 130, 125, but I want that 150 now, so, I'm working on changing a lot of things, more crit damage than ability power here and there, and so forth, but, we still have to wait for the tavern to get the crit chance. But I've been going over it and I'm gonna, this is kind of off topic, but we've been talking about bows and all this stuff, DPS. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of people running DPS Apprentice because of it. It doesn't compare to a DPS Huntress with the proc and we only, as an apprentice, we only have spheres like an oil or chill chill that's the only sphere you can really use in for an apprentice until dps builds comes i think even when the dps build comes from the huntress the huntress is going to be the highest dps and from what i know it's been like that dd1 it's been like that and dd2 it's been like that so you just gotta have patience guys too don't get frustrated if you go into nightmare 4 and you're having a lot of trouble you're not getting past one or two waves you're not getting past the first wave you're not getting past the second wave just have time just have patience um, you're gonna want a serenity or you don't really need um, anti-air because um, if you have your DPS heroes you can take out air pretty fast if people everybody focuses on certain things and that's what we noticed when I finally beat it we had huntresses that they were foc focusing on the magic resist lanes and we had a squire that was focused on the physical resist lane and he was tanking holding the monsters back and then when we finally cleared out the waves we went to his wave cleared them out with the piercing shot, oil flask, concussion grenades, pet abilities, and so forth. But until then, I do find that's the best thing to do. If you have a tank squire in your team, have him hold monsters back for as long as possible with a serenity aura. And that will help 
repairing walls. You can repair walls. You're not getting damaged, so you're actually repairing. Because um, if you try to repair when they're taking damage, it's hard unless you have combat service gear. And it seems like you're not even repairing. Because if you're sitting there and you want to use your pings where you can tell, come help over here. You want to use those on the wall so they know what wall is going down. Because you're going to need two or three people to repair some walls at times. Especially in wave 5 and 4. You want people, like two or more people on in one repair so it goes up faster and you're not worried about it falling down and as of now this build is not the right build you can use one wall each wave but you do have to worry about them slipping um, that's why we use two walls on the left side because they don't slip that much when you use two walls but one wall they slip and if they slip and somebody does not see that the gem or the eternity crystal is getting hit it will go down within two hits three hits because it's nightmare four and everything hits hard so you want to make sure that the monsters are not going to slip through. Because if they start slipping, especially in the later waves when basically hordes of them are coming out, they will slip through because they're hoarding up. And if they slip through, you will lose eventually. And so forth. But that's pretty much it. You want good walls. You want to use the monk's passive sphere to bring the walls even higher. But I've seen people, we have done it with 250k walls, make it to wave 4. We have made it to wave 5 with 330k so there is some RNG luck and so forth because with the you don't know when your traps are gonna crit you don't know how much the crit damage is gonna be so there is a little bit of RNG in Nightmare 4 depending on if you're gonna win or not there is RNG but there's not that much RNG if you have a good enough build you have good enough DPS out there you should be able to, to take out the ogres the two ogres that come and then the boss at the final wave and because the boss hits so hard you guys want to take him out as quick as possible you want to focus on that as you see the mistake I'm making here I'm not focusing on the waverns the waverns got a little too far close and they're already here and look how high their health is it's not low enough so you have to watch out for those air units and you don't want to stand on your frost towers and shoot the air units because if that suicide bomber air suicide bomber comes through it's going to land directly on you and it's going to destroy all your towers your frost towers that is so other than that it's pretty much rng until you get good gear from nightmare 3 i should be working on my walls but i'm just really working on dps for so long but i'm going to go to dps on my apprentice too and have a really really nice apprentice build for you guys the build i had before is pretty basic but as you see here you're going to see it's just we can we're doing good as you see there the air units got a little too close and that's what the problem my problem was i didn't watch the air and you gotta watch air air hits hard air is very threatening in this game air and the physical resist lane are very very threatening because there's there's really no build out there that's magic that hits as fast and as hard as explosive traps um, I mean, there's a lot of ubers for magic, and that's what it is. It's like, you have a physical resist lane, you need magic damage. A lot of people use the LSA, Lightning Strike Aura, with a regular Lightning Aura setup. Like, because you can actually cluster those better. Um, you used to be able to cluster any type of traps, but now, with the new builds, you can't really cluster a lot of traps. You can still cluster your explosive traps, but you can't cluster, your, like, your towers anymore, like you used to be able to. But, that being said... This is your boy SJ. This is really a quick video. Um, I just want to get a quick video out. I want to thank you guys for 300 subscribers. Um, it's been a long time since I, cause I stopped. I stopped you. I was YouTubing for a while, guys. If you guys are my original subscribers, shout out to all the new subscribers. Um, I played Call of Duty. I played all like first-person shooters, but I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really enjoy first-person shooters as much as I enjoy RPGs, tower defense games, and just role-playing games in general or PC games in general so my channel has taken a lot of, it's taken a lot of different routes from I went retro gaming for a while um, I stopped gaming I did sports I did let's plays I did a lot of stuff but I think I've found a good spot that I'm enjoying with DD2 I really enjoy the game I'm really enjoying the content that is getting brought every day uh, not every day but you know what I mean every month every so often every dev stream they're, they're 
announcing stuff that's like, oh my god, I can't wait till it comes out. Um, last dev stream they announced a new boss, no name or nothing, just a nice look. But they announced so much stuff, and there's just so much stuff that can happen with DD2. Because if you compare to DD1, just how much DLC was in DD1. From heroes to costumes, I didn't play DD1 that much on PC, so a lot of the DLC didn't happen for PS3 and Xbox 360. But a lot of it was, I should be focused, that's, a lot of it was I didn't play DD2. And right now, I really should just talk about the video right now. As you see, I'm not focusing on the boss, and that's the problem. I should be focusing on the boss and repairing, and I apologize for that. I was not repairing. I do not have a repair thing up, um, and I'm slacking. I'm trying to melt him as fast as possible, and when I finally start to repair, it is a little too late in my opinion, and we fail this. I I will take the blame for this fail, because I wasn't repairing, and I wasn't focusing on the boss, and he hits so hard. You really want to focus a lot of your energy on him, but we can beat this easily, especially with this team that I had in this video. We could beat this, I know we could beat this, because how fast we were cruising through the first four waves, and then we got to the fifth wave, and it was just, I lose concentration, I start to want to take out enemies as fast as possible over here, then move to this lane. Um, you want to just worry about your lane, your job, and hopefully you have best outcomes, better outcomes than we have at the end of this video. But this video, it was fun. That's all, all at the end of the day, if you're having... I just hope you're having fun playing DD2. Um, it is frustrating, but it gets frustrating. I know it gets frustrating, especially when you're trying the next tier and you feel like you're at the next level. But it's very hard now. Um, if you guys were in the pre-alpha stages, the game was so easy. And we wanted a difficulty thing And with Nightmare 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, difficulty returned. But this is your boy SJ, and I'm out.